Hey guys, what's going on? Kenny Dennis here, and I'm so excited for our video topic today. And what we're gonna be covering today is how much should you be spending on Facebook advertising? This is a question that I get a lot. A lot of customers aren't sure exactly how much they should be spending. Should they be utilizing Facebook? Should they not be utilizing Facebook? What are some easy ways to generate leads? What should my budget be? All of that good stuff. So what this video is gonna do is I'm gonna really dig into why tax and accounting professionals should or shouldn't utilize Facebook, the benefits, pros, the cons, the whole enchilada, and we're going to detail. But before we do that, guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It just gives me more motivation to come out here and make sure I'm providing you guys the best content and best um, information to help you guys grow and scale your own tax firm, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head to my iPad, and this is what we're gonna do, okay? So why utilize FB, okay? Why utilize Facebook? And this is very, very important. Facebook is one of Facebook is one of the best platforms for tax and accounting professionals. And I want to tell you guys the reason why. There are millions upon millions of users that utilize Facebook every single day. And Facebook has allowed us in our own tax and accounting firm to really take off like a rocket ship and really take a lot of market share for small and medium sized businesses within the tax planning space. And the reason being is because first of all, a lot of tax and accounting firms, um, write this down, do not advertise on Facebook. So what does that mean to you? You wanna put yourself in a blue ocean. Think about this, okay? If you are the only accounting firm in the state of, you know, Arlington, Texas, right? You're the only accounting firm. Most of those people who lived in Arlington, Texas would come to you to get their taxes, um, taxes done, bookkeeping, accounting work, all that good stuff, right? There's not too many choices in town. If you think about back, back, back in the day in the 1800s, when you used to have small cities, right? You used to have the general store. Everybody went to the general store. Everybody saw the same doctor, right? Everybody saw the same accountant. That's because there wasn't um, a lot of choices back then. So when you're on a platform where a lot of your competitors are advertising, that means you're gonna get the most market share. That means you're gonna get the lion's share of clients, which is extremely important, okay? The next thing when it comes to Facebook is their targeting. Facebook is very, very good when it comes to they're targeting. You could literally type into Facebook's ad platform and literally say, I want a person who's self-employed business owner between the age of 30 and 40, or I want a person who's a chiropractor, or I want a person who's a dentist. The targeting is very, very specific, and you can get your ad right in front of somebody very easily for very low cost. And the next thing is low cost. You don't have to spend any more than $10 a day on Facebook to get your, that's like the minimum budget to start putting out ads. It's not like you're utilizing television or anything like that where you have to put up a budget of 50,000 to advertise. You can start advertising extremely, extremely easy, extremely quickly. And that's why the platform makes so much sense when you wanna talk about the benefits of why you wanna basically advertise on Facebook because tax and accounting firms are not doing it. So you become one of the biggest people on the platform and that's what we did because there's not a lot of people doing it, okay? So now we're gonna move into the next topic, all right? So the next thing we're gonna cover is why most people fail, okay? So one of the biggest reasons why most people fail is for basic reasons because they don't understand how to utilize, how to launch ads. Most of it is just a lot of people don't know how to launch ads. And that's something that we can cover. If you guys wanna learn more about that, click on the links below, we'll recover that more on um, the free training. But a lot of people don't know how to launch ads. And that's one of the biggest parts about it is you gotta know how to actually put ads out there and get them in front of people, right? The second thing is basically they don't have the right service offering. So the, the main topic that we wanted to cover on this training today was how much should you be spending on Facebook ads? 
most people don't understand that when you're selling tax preparation or you're selling bookkeeping work, those are services where you're charged anywhere between, you know, 200 to 300 or maybe 500 to $600, right? So when you're thinking about Facebook, right? You have to spend money, okay? To acquire a customer, okay? So when you're spending money, let's say if you have a client that's only gonna pay you $200 and you spent $400 to get the client, right? To get a $200 client. That means you're losing money. So half of advertising on Facebook is having the right service to actually advertise because at the end of the day, what is this called? This is called cost per acquisition. How much does it cost for you to acquire a customer? We're accountants, right? How much does it cost for you to acquire a customer? So let's say on average, it costs you around $500 to acquire a customer, right? If you're selling tax preparation or bookkeeping work for $200, $300 a month, you're losing money. Tax prep, bookkeeping. That means you're losing money, okay? So if you're selling any of those services and you wanna advertise on Facebook, it's not the best It's not the best vehicle because your, your product and your service is too low price where you're gonna lose money. So when people ask me, well, Kenny, you know, how much should I be spending on Facebook? A lot of the times I ask them is, okay, what is your service? What are you offering for you to be able to advertise on Facebook? So, Going into our next subject is basically you have to offer a service where you could charge anywhere between three to 10,000 per deal. On average, to acquire a customer on FB, anywhere between 15 to 2K. Yeah, that's the reality of it. So you have got to have a service where you're charging over between three to $10,000 per deal. So what would a service like that look like? If we go back to our chart, right? Service offering, what would a service like that look like? So what's something that we consistently preach over here is tax strategy and tax planning. You guys need to be offering those type of services. When it comes to us in our business, the reason we were able to scale to really around $400,000 a month in ad spend on Facebook is because one and one thing only, the only way you could spend that much money on Facebook is you have to ensure you're making an ROI. So for us to do that, we were offering tax planning. And we were selling our services anywhere between 7,500 to 15K. So at that point, we can basically spend as much as we want because remember how I told you, it's gonna cost you guys anywhere between $1,500 to $1,000 to acquire a customer, okay? So when it comes to basically you being able to spend on Facebook and how much your budget should be on Facebook, it's really ensuring that you guys have the right service offering to be able to be to spend. So you wanna spend anywhere between $1,500 a month because that'll probably give you around one customer, okay? Around $1,500 a month budget. And you need to be offering tax planning. That's the core offering you have to offer. Okay? Because you have to be at a profit to continually to spend on Facebook. You can't just spend and lose money, right? And never see that money back. You know, you have to have really, really big pockets to do something like that, right? So you need to make sure when you spend $1, okay? This is a concept I want everybody to know. When you're spending $1, 
your goal is to see two to three dollars back. So think about an ATM machine. If you put in one dollar, it spits out two dollars. You put in one dollar, spits out three dollars. That's your whole entire concept. If you're putting in one dollar and you're only getting three cents back, you're screwed. It's going to be an issue, okay? So that's the whole entire concept of advertising on Facebook is you need to ensure that you have the right service offering, okay? Spending anywhere between $1,500 a month on Facebook ads and you learn how to do your targeting and all that type of stuff. There is a lot more that goes into the Facebook advertising um, training and different things like that. You know, when it comes down to what type of ads should you guys run, right? Um, where do you guys push these people to to sell them or to pre-sell them? So when they hop on that phone call, they're ready to basically purchase your tax putting services and want to work with you, right? You know, what is the follow-up system if you don't get a person to close on the first phone call? All these little things play a big, big, big portion into you being able to close people every single day on Facebook. But I want to tell you too, it's one of the greatest vehicles for you to explode your business and for you really to be doing anywhere between fifty to $100,000 profit every single month and have a scalable system. So if that's something that you guys want to learn, make sure you guys click on the link below. I have a free training where I'm literally going to walk you guys through exactly what that process looks like. And you guys will see it for yourself. Again, my name is Kenny Dennis. Thank you so much for showing up for the video. Then as well, make sure you guys like and subscribe as it definitely helps our channel and our algorithm and helps us get this out to more people and help more people and have more of an impact. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.